Hello everybody, it is The Naughty Investor here and thank you for tuning in to this video. This is another video on my series on alt tech. Now the first uh, episode I did in my series was about unstoppable domains. This episode is going to be about library slash odyssey. I'm going to explain to you how these platforms work, what's the difference between them, um, and, and what they provide in the realm of alt tech. Tech. Okay, so firstly, I am on Library. If you're on Library, you're also on Odyssey. Okay, these two platforms are connected to each other. Essentially, the best way to put it, Odyssey is a more user friendly skin on top of Library. That's the simplest way to put it. They are different, you know, they're different uh, domains, they're different URLs, but they're connected. If you upload on Library, you upload on Odyssey. And I could very easily prove this by typing in my name so the naughty investor i'm going to type it in over here and you can see i am on odyssey 853 uploads i go over here almost 300 followers i go over to library i go to my channel you can see right over here same thing you see the uploads you see everything the same this is a skin essentially the simplest way to put it the most user-friendly way to put it on top of library but you could use either of these platforms i tend to use library more but if you're more of a viewer of content odyssey may be a better option for you so how do these platforms work essentially how this works is you get paid to upload content to watch content to comment on content um a lot of different things and they do this to incentivize you to get on the platform okay so the way it works is let's say you're an uploader of content you upload a video and that video will earn you library credits depending on how much people tip how many people watch and things like that now you could set your videos to cost library credits to view or you can let people view them for free or close to free and and, set, and basically how that works is they will tip you if they find your content good okay so that's one way this works now I've been on library for about six months, I believe. And one of the reasons I love this platform is because it auto syncs with my YouTube channel, okay? So I don't have to go on here and manually upload videos. Instead, I am partnered through their library YouTube partner program. So I get free library credits every month just by being a, because I have a, a certain threshold of subscribers on YouTube, right? And the way it works is whenever I upload a YouTube video, it automatically goes on library. The reason I love this is because there's so many alt tech platforms out there right now that I'm going to be reviewing on the channel in the future. So make sure you subscribe. And I think that, you know, it's a hassle to have to upload manually to all of them. I mean, I'm going to have to upload it on YouTube. I'm going to have to upload it on BitChute. I'm going to have to upload it on library. I'm going to have to upload it on all these different platforms, you know, Steam it, you know, DLive, whatever, uh, or, or, or DTube. And that to me is too much of a hassle. So one of the reasons library right now is one of my favorite platforms is it does it automatically for you you don't have to go up here and manually upload type in a title do all that jazz it just automatically syncs from youtube so that's one of the reasons i really like library slash odyssey okay now how much money have i actually made with library well total if you go to my wallet i have earned about 2400 2400 library credits currently they are valued at just about 10 9 to 10 cents a pop up 14 uh, percent today so one of the reasons i like library credits is you could sell them if you want you could sell them and you can make money why have i never sold them well i i think it's too cheap right now i think that if you look at the history of library credits where prices have been before um i think they could get a lot higher i mean maybe i will sell some library credits once they get to about 50 cents because at that point i'm talking you know some decent money just for having the you know the platform and just having you know it, it automatically generated there um but overall i'm probably not going to sell any in the short term to mid term and the reason is you can actually boost your content on library by using these platform how does that work well very simple you go to your video i'm going to pause it so it doesn't upload so it doesn't start playing there we go and what you, so you can see right now, I've earned 387 in library credits. What you can do is you can unlock this amount or you could keep it there and it helps your video perform. Now, one other thing you could do 
if you go to support, this will increase the overall bid amount for this content, which will boost its availability while being discovered uh, to being to be discovered while active. So what I could do here, if I want, I could boost this video by sending over some library credits. And this amount of money, I could withdraw at any time. So it's not even like you're spending the money. The best way to put it is you're staking it. It's not actually proof of stake per se in that sense, but it's staking in the sense that you're putting this away. You can take it out when you want. And when you put it away, it boosts the content. So if you're new on you know to making content, to making videos, you could buy a couple hundred library credits and you could get a head start by boosting your content so it is user friendly in that regard very very nice here and it shows that there is an intrinsic value in the platform because you can put out a video um, boost your content up and that's where the value of the library credits come from as the user base gets bigger the library credits value goes up because you can boost your video to more people you kind of get what I'm saying it's sort of like if you're doing advertising on Facebook uh, I don't like to bring up Facebook because they're trash but regardless if you're doing Facebook ads and you want to hit a wider range of people or, or get more specific, whatever, you could increase the amount of money you're putting in to basically hit more people, right? So if you're only going to spend 20 bucks on a Facebook ad, you're not going to get that many people, might get a couple hundred. But if you spend a couple thousand on a Facebook ad, you could hit a lot more people. Same thing with library. If you put a little bit into your library videos, um, they will get a little bit of a boost. You put a lot, they get a lot of a boost. If you don't put anything into your videos, they still will get views. Um, my videos, I know this one only got seven views, but it was just uploaded yesterday. I've had some videos that get multiple hundreds of views on this platform. Is it, am I getting more views on YouTube than library? Yes, I will admit that, but this still is a very nice alternative platform because we see so much deplatforming going on on YouTube. So that's one big key here. The big, um, I guess, value proposition for library is not necessarily the fact that you can make money and the fact that you could, you know, get free cryptocurrency by uploading and watching videos that is all secondary in my opinion the main thing here is it is decentralized and it is censorship resistant unless you're putting out illegal speech or spamming you're not going to get banned off of library and that's one great thing about this where on youtube you give the wrong opinion you could be getting a couple strikes on your channel so library uh really their main value proposition in my opinion is the censorship resistant it's censorship resistant. It's built on blockchain. Um, so how could you actually earn? Let's say you're not an uploader. Let's say you're not a content creator. How can you earn money through library credits? Well, it's very simple. You go to rewards and you could actually watch content and you could earn um, you know, library credits every single day. Now, it's not a ton, but they can add up over time. And it's a great way, in my opinion, looking at it as a marketer for them to incentivize you to get on the platform. I mean, you could... One main reason to get on the platform is you're not supporting the big tech giants like YouTube and Google, right? Another reason is you could earn money. Another reason is you could get content over here that is banned on YouTube. So if you're not already on library, I would definitely recommend it. If you do want to sign up to library, I will have a link in the description. If you use my link in the description, you actually get a bonus because I'm partnered on library. I have a referral code with them. And if you use my link in the description, I think you get like a five library credits bonus, something like that. Maybe it's 10. Um, but that is a great way to start off. So you start off with some library credits. You could start off watching some content and eventually you'll have a few thousand library credits that you could do what you want to do with. Maybe you want to boost your content. Maybe you want to cash out and you're just a viewer. Regardless, this is a great way to make some nice passive income. This is a great way to support independent content creators. And this is a great way to hurt big tech corporations, global conglomerates that are infringing upon our First Amendment rights. So very interesting. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you going to be using Library? Are you going to be using Odyssey? These are the same platforms. Like I said, Odyssey, I would recommend more if you're a viewer of content. Library, I would recommend more if you are a uh, uploader or creator of content. Both are decent platforms. And again, Library Credits is just at a little bit under 10 cents. So not too bad there. Up a little bit on the day. And and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next time. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. If you're worried about big tech or big government gathering your personal information and personal data, look no further than PureVPN. Right now, using my link in the description, 
you could get 47% off of their one-year deal and 70% off of their two-year deal if you use my link in the description. Using a VPN is a great way to secure your privacy and stop hackers, intrusive governments, and large corporations from gathering your personal data against your wishes. Once again, use the link in the description if you want to get this amazing deal.